talk or play with me. One Saturday night, the boys were hunting. Jim and myself went with them. While going through the woods, one of the boys tripped and fell on me. I lost my temper and bit him. He hit me in the side and we started on. While we were walking, I saw a black round thing in a tree. I hit it with my paw. What? A swarm of black flies came out of it. I felt pain all over. I started to run. And as both of my eyes were swelled shut, I fell into a pond. When I got home, I was very sore. I wish you would come home right now. Your good dog, Richard. What the hell? What does that even mean? Richard Nixon was definitely crazy. Again, I, we talked about this. It's got to be like six months ago now. But when those presidential drawings went viral and like every president like was drawing themselves, Richard Nixon's drawings were like... H.P. Lovecraft, non-Euclidean shapes that exist in the space between slip dimensions. Like, he was, he was drawing, like, triangles inside of, like, hexagons, inside of octagons, like, inside of tessellations of, like... I don't know what was going on with Richard Nixon's brain, but... Every other president was like, here's me and, uh, my dog. Richard Nixon's were like, this is what I see when I close my eyes. It's actually a little frightening. Best psychedelic album of all time. I have no idea. Oh my God, thank you for reminding me. And then the next tweet is literally, or the next thing in chat was literally what I was gonna talk about. Drew Carey's tweets after the Fish concert is actually the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Or at least the funniest thing I've seen this year. Drew Carey last tweeted November, 2023. And basically said, I'm out. Since I hate Twitter. Then he went to the Fish concert at the Sphere and he tweeted, um, first he tweeted, I swear I just talked to God. I would give you all the money, stick my dick in a blender, and swear off pussy for the rest of my life in exchange for this. Bro, I met God tonight for real. I feel like I just got saved by Jesus, no lie. So Drew Carey tweeting that is already 9 out of 10 funny. But then someone replied to him, and he replied with the most insane thing I've ever seen. He replied, This is what it must feel like to come with a pussy. Because if it's even close, I'm flying to wherever tomorrow and getting the best pussy money can buy. I don't need to be a man no more if it means I can feel like this all the time. Fucking keep it, bro, if I can get this feeling instead. That was God at work or something. Like, it felt like I was being saved by Jesus. No lie. <laughs> I want... I don't want it to get twisted. I'm sure that he's embarrassed that he tweeted that. But I don't think he has anything to be embarrassed about. That makes him more relatable. Dude was on drugs and experienced strong feelings and wanted to share them. That's... Humanity, bro. I got I got nothing but that's way less embarrassing than half the shit people tweet sober, to be honest. If anything, for me, I'm like it kind of makes Drew Carey like it makes him a more complex figure in my head. Cuz I got to imagine he's got that shit rattling around in his brain while he's like, "Oh, well, you said the car was $17,783, but it's actually $17,738. And in his head, he's like, shh, like, supernovas going off, like, nonstop. I hope they don't, like, make him address it on the prices right. Like, let's not give the impression that this is, like, a serious <laughs> institution. <laughs> He's like, bro's gonna get fired from The Price is Right, the show that's like advertising like Lipton sidekicks. So when Drew Carey does it, it's based. When Nixon does it, it's problematic. Well, uh, Drew Carey didn't bomb Cambodia, okay? So like, that's where I draw the line. Also, ooh, that's kind of sick with it. I will say, Drew Carey was in the military, so I don't know, maybe he, maybe he did bomb Cambodia, but like he didn't give the order. I'm not saying it's good, but there's, you know, delineations to these things. My hand is freaking huge, dude. Me at the fish concert? Right? Am I right? Am I right? I've never done psychedelics, so I don't know what effect it has on you. Well, <laughs> I don't know if I want to do the stuff that Drew was doing. 
I don't know if that's the drugs or it's fish, but I'm staying the hell away from both of them. I'm content in my life right now, okay? I don't want to I don't want to add that kind of dilemma into my cerebrum. I just didn't know Drew Carey had the damn plug. I guess he's a cool guy. He was, I mean, he had the Drew Carey show. That was a funny show. Just because he hosts The Price is Right doesn't mean he doesn't have, like, a rich inner life or something. Price is right, is his second job. I guess it's his, se his second screen content, you're right. He does that so he can have the money to fly to the fish concert. Just weird that he's been in media for 35 years and he's trying drugs for the first time at age 65. I don't think Drew Carey dropped acid for the first time at this fish concert, okay? I think that might be a little naive. <laughs> It might be the first time he's tweeted while rolling, but also it's not sus. He's been working out for him. Dude's got like the best job in Hollywood. All he has to do is hold that skinny ass microphone and go like, $9.99. The only qualifications for the job basically is like you need to know how to count. So that rules half of you out. What was that for? I don't know. I just thought. <laughs> I just thought I'd be an asshole for a second. <laughs> people are laughing. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to say. People are laughing. Did you see the robot flamethrower dog? Yeah, yeah, I did. I saw him. I also saw the tweet that was like, "Just be honest with me." What? <laughs> what purpose does this have? Like, what role does this fill in society? And the people were like, probably forest fire prevention. Like, you could do controlled burns to like, they already can do that shit, man, and they're not doing it. They don't need a dog to go out there and burn down half the forest. You know they're sicking that dog into like a, you know, they got probable cause that like it's a meth lab and they're like, they might have weapons, send the dog in. <laughs> Two double tags. Don't send the dog into the fish concert. Oh, man. I, I mean it sincerely, man. I feel like... I love that for Drew Carey. I think that, obviously, anybody would probably be embarrassed when they woke up after tweeting about it, but I don't think he has anything to be embarrassed about, personally. I hope he's just chilling. He did write dick in a blender. <laughs> He didn't delete it, that's true. He did. He's standing for it. Cut the librarian's F3 video. Did you like the hockey pucks I sent a while back? Those are still in our house. They survived the move, which is the greatest compliment that I could give to something I received in the mail. I also saw, librarian, you gotta be careful. Why are you beefing with every NHL fan base on Twitter simultaneously? You don't even watch hockey. <laughs> it would be so very you're just like people I are tweeting hope. like overly serious stuff about sports and then you're in the mentions like just edging them on i guess egging them on edging them on is more like like an anne hathaway type thing why you why you trolling bro these people are gonna get their their feelings hurt librarian hockey arc don't encourage him, okay? Like, he's actually... You're... I, I mean this sincerely. I'm also not saying stop. For the record. But you are contributing to... Like, misery... In... The world. Like, these are deeply unhappy people that you're responding to in a way that you know is designed to make them upset. It's not a noble cause. It's not, like, criminal. But it's... You are, I believe you are making the world a little bit worse. You raised your voice, I was just a kid, man. Sorry, I can't be compelled to care about Afghanistan. My father was an alcoholic. My Afghanistan was hearing the key in the door every night. I know what you're referencing. I've seen your, the, your true face. In the history of bad tweets, obviously that's one of them. But the worst one, in my opinion, is still the one with the skeletons crawling all over the house on Halloween, and then the person posting like, 
I get decorations, but imagine if someone just had someone close to them die. How would they feel driving by this house? And you're like... Skeletons, man. I don't know. It's like a like a 15-foot tall skeleton climbing a house. Tommy Need Drinky is also really bad. Between, what is it? Between the Bernie Bros, the Tenant from Hell, this has been a cromulent fuck crustable of a day. Tommy Needy Drinky. Ruth Conda Forever is horrible as well. Yeah, that's a bad one. She pones my dick and balls. Okay, that's the the Kevin Smith one is horrible, but oh man, you know what? What tweet has had an indelible impact on, in my opinion, culture? Full stop. Uh, I think about it all the time. It's the one that is like throwback to the Halloween where I went to my friend's party dressed as the Baba Duke, and they were having more of a grown-ups drinking wine sort of vibe. I think that's actually, like, it should be in the Library of Congress. I get that it's easy to look down upon it because it's like a tweet instead of a novel. But I, I think about that tweet at least once every, like, three months. Whenever I don't fit in at something, I, I think about that tweet. Because literally, I brought my toddler to a school event that had more of a grown-ups drinking wine vibe. What about the Zach Fox tweet that's, like, the... Picture when a white guy murders his family be like the, the one where it's like him and his wife on a jet ski. It's just crazy how much that comes true. Like it's that's like satire, but it's also real, man. Miss Vicky's in a San Pellegrino was the rich kid snack at my school. I mean that is a San Pellegrino for a little kid like in school. That is pretty crazy. I don't know if this is real, but I saw a story on Twitter. And the, I'll, I'll give the librarian some help here. But the, the body of the tweet kind of started with something like, man, rich kids are different. Um, all these kids were talking about, they were in the lunchroom talking about airport lounges at airports around the world. All of a sudden, one kid started crying and I went over to see what the problem was and I thought it was that he was like, his family didn't take him on vacations and it turns out he was crying that he couldn't relate because his family always flew private planes <laughs> he found look at how he found it and posted the story before i even finished it man that's crazy it's a funny story that's that's comedy it's subverting the expectations poor kid man well the irony is that it is like you know you feel bad for the kid because kids just want to you know they don't get it. They just want to relate. People really do find ways to be a victim. Bro, you're, you're beefing with like a nine-year-old right now. They just want to have friends. Okay, so I got a dilemma. My wife sent me two Instagram reels. Should I watch them on, on camera here so I can re reply? Dada said he wishes he could do his hair too. And this is how I found him with my daughters. <laughs> What is happening here? What did you do to daddy? This is the new me. Uh, you're fabulous, Dada. You're so beautiful. Thank you, my favorite uh. daughter. Dude, that's, I gotta say, that is too real. Uh, it is two little girls, I'm gonna say age one and a half and four. And they are just putting stickers on their dad's bald head while he looks at his phone. I've been there. I've been there for sure. Now I'll craft my message. OMG, the dad with the stickers while he looks at his phone is so me. Okay. There's some marriage advice for you. Can a gerbil name 100 women in six minutes? You know what? I appreciate that. You're, you're right. Probably not. It was crazy seeing, I don't, I'm not saying I had the best name 100 women time, but in that post-mortem of like all the streamers who did it, how on earth with, with a seven minute time was I 20 minutes ahead of the average? The average. I mean, I get it's a, it's a bit of a sus data set. I did not have the most writers. I think I had the most actresses, like 70% of my list was actresses. Most writers went to, uh, went to slime. Nothing but respect for my president. 
<laughs> Pardon me. The tribe is a good pickup here, dude. No streamers either. True. I might be like the only person on the list who did it without naming someone that like they're roommates with. No porn stars either. Excuse me, that's a deprecated term. Now we use adult filmmakers, if I remember correctly. So you don't think they're stars? It's the difference, okay? Don't try to gaslight me. I'm saying it's about the art. Not the medium. The medium is the message, and the system's purpose is what it does. By the way, it's way too late in the stream to go off on a rant, okay? I saw it was it was on Twitter. I saw someone say, it's so nice to go to a game store now and see that there are Pokemon trading card games in stock, i.e. they haven't all been bought by speculators like years ago and little kids can't play the game anymore. And I was like, I think that's good. That sounds right to me, that it's good that the product is more accessible. And then I did see someone in the comments say, actually long-term, this is a bad thing because it means that the game has less players. And all I could think of was, and I'm friends with many of these streamers, it's not a criticism, they can do whatever they want with their own money, but all I could think of was them buying you know, hundreds or thousands of dollars worth of Pokemon cards, opening them on stream, and then shoving the cards into their closet, never to be played with ever again. Is that good for the ecosystem of the game? Well, in like a Grapes of Wrath sort of way, I suppose it is, because it keeps the value of the cards high for the people who already have them. Gibbly, <laughs> what the fuck? Hey there, fuck? need anything? <laughs> oh my god! What happened? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking freak. Uh, let the record busy, show. Man. Chibli posted a picture of uh, Lois in a saw trap from Family Guy with Stewie as Jigsaw on the screen saying, Hello, Lois. Okay, that is the, yeah, okay. Then I said delete it. Hello, Lois. <laughs> just in time, Jib. <laughs> this is just like the time you Stewie guys. put Lois in the saw trap. Oh, Peter! Remember that one time? in the storm trap salt fuck yeah, storm traps salt fuck is that a scalpel on the ground in that picture what is or it yeah cuz she's going to keys eye, in her bro. eye bro you've never seen salt uh, i haven't what is the that fuck trap for that Dude. oh i see there's an i see there's an x-ray of her eye you guys pick it apart the odd of lois griffin in a soul trap with peter griffin <laughs> on the is the jigsaw What's that's it's not that's stewie griffin Oh fuck! I, guys, I've been awake for like a minute and a half. Okay, I'm sorry. That's absolutely somebody's. So you found this last night and saved it to your phone just to upload today when you woke up? No, I, I saw it like three minutes ago. Yay! Oh. Was it one nine nine nine? What a power slice! It did. Oh my god! I got one more point than if I landed on my own score. Nobody else. This one's big. This one's big. <laughs> me, this one's me, big. Me, this me. is like 3,500 points on. right here. 3, I think this is a, a, a mini spin to get a power slice. Or a chibli. Wow. What? Wow. what the fuck? Why would you want that? Because we up. haven't seen one in so long, bro. He hooked my ass up. Yeah. What power is he going to get? The plug weird, but he chill. Oh, thank God. Did you see that tweet? Did you see that tweet <laughs> yeah, from the I did. like, um... <laughs> Can, can I give you a hit while you smoke? Yeah, her message was indica, and then he said, cool, can I give you a head while you smoke? Or nah. <laughs> Coming from the north? Or nah. Oh, I'm putting on the screen rooms. like an asshole. <laughs> Sorry. Coming from the Outpost. Mojave Outpost. Watching a lot of nothing feels like a big Brahmin pen for Caravan. They've been stopped for a while. Waiting for the roads north to clear. Looks like you've walked away, so if you need to shake the dust off, head to the barracks at the bars there. Not much, but better than nothing. Those two? Represents unification. Mostly good for shade. Won't do much else when the Legion reaches us. Nothing I know of. But if you've come from the north, means you can travel freer than most around here. Might check the barracks. Someone might need you to hoof it somewhere. Just be careful when you go up on the roof. 
I've got a sniper watch on the road. If your gear is in need of repair, HQ's also worth checking out. Talk to Major Knight, he can help. Provided you got a pen and plenty of ink. Watch yourself. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. Oh, I'm clicking on the screen like an asshole. <laughs> Sorry. Justin, you stole points from me. I know. And me! Yeah, but I spun his ass, bro. Corey and, and Ryan or Chibli? It's like we got a new visitor. Oh, that's fair. No yeah, I spun your shit, bro. So what he's through, saying is he likes it. bad time. <laughs> I love when you spun my shit. <laughs> Like Prozac, the Canadian cartoon band said, uh, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna sleep with myself tonight. No one else can harm me. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. You guys ever listen to? Soldiers, no. Recruits, yes. 
and the Mojave outpost has been ordered to have a standing force at the NCR perimeter at all times. So sending anyone out reduces the outpost's numbers and would be in direct violation of my orders. Frustrated? No, I have my orders. Signed and approved all the way up the chain from Kimball. And I understand the reasons. The outpost isn't a legion target, yet. Not like Vegas or the Dam. But if the caravans get choked here, that's gonna bite NCR hard. Anyway, didn't mean to talk your ear off. Some days, just feel like more requisition forms and daily reports come across. Hell, now look, I appreciate... Uh, you know what? Yes, I could use the help. You look... I need to get the caravans moving again. That means clearing a path north. There's too much crawling the asphalt up the road to allow it. Thanks, I appreciate it. Come back here when you're done. I might... Caravan, citizen, pilgrim, or... Just need something for the logbook, keeping tabs on traffic throughout the outpost. Although mostly just in, not out these days. If you're looking for the commanding officer, he's in the back. Although, he's got a lot on his plate, so if you speak with him, keep it short. Also, if you need any gear checked, we can get you up and running again. Once you fill out the work orders and sign for the part... Prim. These units are stationed up there. We're having problems with some of the NCRCF convicts. What can I help you with? It has. It was a promising trade town before the escape at the correctional facility. Lost a good bit of money at the Vicky and Vance. All right.
जिसमें Hey, welcome to the Mega 64 podcast live, coming to you live from San Diego, California. We've got a big week. We had a big week. Oh, Such yeah. a big week. Yeah, yeah. This was one of our biggest we weeks, dare I big. say, the ever. Can count on that. And why was it? Why was that? Because count season down. of the force has started. <laughs> All mm. the new Star Wars stuff. Yeah. At Disney you a courier? Wow. So, Season of the Fourth. This might be yeah. a lucky day. May the Fourth wasn't enough. No, no, we no don't. it's gotta go. The pay? The pay is a good goddamn thanks from the heart of the Republic. Just shitting you with the NCR line. Done wonders for morale around here. President Kimball keeps saying getting shot at is its own damn reward. Do this job for me, though. I'll do what I can. People know I hate most everyone, so if I put in a word for you. I think there's trouble in Nipton. No traffic from there on the roads. And while I can explain that away, the smoke from the town I can't. I'm sure it's been hit. What I need to know is if they survived it. Might be powder gangers with all that smoke in the air. If there's anybody left, they'd be in the Nipton Town Hall. Go there. Check it out. Let me know what... All right. Look at you, all fired up and ready to go. Wish the others around here had that kind of... Listen, I don't want you getting killed for this. So if you head there and run into trouble, I'm asking for eyes and ears, not your life. All right? Kimball's Kimball. Not sure which end is his ass or his head. Caravan families are causing trouble. Big circle getting tense. The usual. Look. You want gossip, go to the bar downstairs and listen to a whole lot of nothing. Me? I gotta keep watch, then fill out the daily log. Mind just... When I got this assignment, I was hoping there'd be more gambling.
We won't go quietly. When I got this assignment, I was hoping there'd be more gambling. Got business. When I got patrol, got business here. Got business here. Got business. Patrolling. Patrol. I'm not sure you should be here. Looking for trouble? Well, keep those eyes up and turning, or I'll set them spinning. Got no time for gawkers, or anyone looking for something I ain't selling. All right? No, I'm not all right. Drinking to forget, and it's only getting me mad instead. Whiskey always gets my temper up now more than ever. Drinking used to cause all sorts of trouble back west. Before I punched enough people, that is. And they learned to lay low when the whiskey hit. Yeah, if you couldn't tell, I'm not from around here, and I'm not NCR. I run a caravan. Or... Lost my caravan heading north. The driver burned to ash. And they didn't even take the cargo, they just burned that too. My guess is Legion. They're trying to cut NCR's supply line, and the Mojave outpost is proof. Got us locked up tighter than a new Vegas virgin. No caravans in, out, and just try arguing with Jackson about it. Roads aren't... No shit, you washed out old fuck-up. I didn't need a Brotherhood scribe to tell me that. Jackson won't let me head north. It's not safe. And even though my caravan's gone, my caravan papers are key. So if you came here for work... My advice? Go find the Crimson Caravan branch south of Vegas. What's up? If you're looking to sign up, Caravan works up north. Still, if you got a gun, guts, and feeling like going on patrol, might be some... I don't know. Seems to be a... Yeah, her name's Ghost or something. Fucking scary. Ooh. Guess it's because you'll never see her till you're dead. NCR and their goddamn nicknames. As if Caesar himself's gonna piss and run if he hears them. Anyway, go on and head up top. Ask her what's going on if you haven't already. Jackson might. He was looking to try to get troops to clear the North Road. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. You lost? Hello?
Hey there. New face in the outpost. Must have come from the... Work around here. Might check with Jackson in the main building, or ghost up on the roof above, but watch out. She's, well, she's kind of a bitch. Don't tell her I said that, though. Might take a bullet some night. Take... Background? Few prospect. Fine. Hello. Season. It's Ooh. like the um, um, Nightmare Before Christmas skin on the Haunted Mansion. Yeah. That has to be at least seven months of the year. <laughs> yeah. You gotta do that. Yeah, it's, it's funny. I hate that. Can this call it summer again? Why did that be like season of the forest of Disney? No. You should be just like, hey, come on, summer. I, listen, don't pigeonhole me. That's not all I'm going to talk about. It's okay. also cigarette month. Um, they're, they're doing a whole <laughs> thing for cigarettes. So oh, me, me and Garrett wow, are representing guys. both sides. Yeah. Wow. Let's show off Garrett. Stand up. If you want to show yeah, yeah. Wow, guys. I, I don't know who looks this? cooler. No, we got how, close up? How, do you, how do you do that? You set up. That's my gut. <laughs> <laughs> well. Did you, did you want to show that? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I Garrett. gave him five bucks for that shot. Wait, where was the close-up on Garrett? Uh, Garrett? Let me see here. <laughs> okay, so tonight's show, we're going to be talking about our favorite, all our favorite Star Wars and re and cigarettes, regular or menthol. Uh, Mentholated Clover? benefits, Kevin. Yeah. You prefer menthol? Uh, yeah, I do. Now, the FDA is trying to get rid of them. Oh, those sons of bitches. Well, apparently they're causing a, quite a bit of harmful side effects. Uh, we're going to get into what? that. What, minty freshness? Uh, that's what I'm saying. And we're going to get into that and yeah. more. Looking too cool? After this theme song. He's got a butt. Ew, what Whoa. was that last part? It sounds like it, a toilet it, flush. It yeah. sounds like this is me shitting. Yeah, I was gonna like, say, in, in Hutties, he's saying, this is me wait, shitting. Do that one more time, I wanna hear the last part of it. It does okay. come out the butt. There's like definitely a liquid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he's got it. What? 
There's a bunch of holes splattering. Keep going. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry about that. I fucking. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Rocco, you're really into popcorn. This guy loves popcorn. This didn't come with popcorn. One. It came with fries. Fries? Yeah. yeah. Fry wait. bucket? Jabba, and it came with salacious okay, crumb. Wait a minute. I. It's a fry bucket, you know. How many fries fit in it, that thing? Uh, well, they gave you about that many. They oh, see, that's not fair. Ten Look fries. Still just fuck her up. They, they sold it at a bunch of different places, and you would get whatever that food place had. had. You know what I mean? So I want the tamale bucket. You got bucket. it at a popcorn place. You get the popcorn. <laughs> you get Yeah, I went where they had fries. But then I guess there was somewhere else where they gave it with a Rice Krispie treat, which is hilarious to me. You just go like, there you go. I want to get just in right New Orleans Street? Square and get a gumbo bucket. Yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah, get I wanna... chowder in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be cool. Fill them up with chowder and chop chowder on a hot yeah. day out of this thing. Yeah, because then it would and look like drool. It'd be drool and yeah. the white goo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that would look so work. right. It would oh, look, and then, oh, and then uh, you strangle him with this thing. Oh, I'm oh, around his throat. Yeah, you know what? I agree. That should have been the chain that contract had. Right? That, that would be dope. Position. That'd be dope. dope. I I think they don't want to um, put that stuff in merch. Oh, like the her and the slave. Her murdering him and the chain. I I don't think they want to conjure up no. that. But, but he why? did come. Who did he come with? He ca he came with a uh, salacious. salacious. That looks crumb. good. Is he posable? No. Why Inarticulate. No. Right. But no Bib Fortuna. <gasps> no. No thermal detonator. They already did detonators. They've already done that. They you can buy a Sprite that's like a detonator. Oh, jeez. Is there like a uh, popcorn bucket that Twitter you follow to get, keep like, up on all the popcorn just, buckets out there? Just the normal people I follow. They all. They all. They all the figure not people. Be some count, account that does nothing but posts popcorn, popcorn buckets. buckets. I follow this account, um, like eBay Jackets. Oh, and that's a good this, one. Yeah, you follow it too? No, but I've seen your post because I'm following you, so it shows up in my feed now. Yeah, but a lot of times it's just like, you know, it's a lot of the things that you would wear like, oh, this is a shell jacket from 1980s. Yeah, the, yeah. That kind of shit. Yeah. I, I enjoy that. I enjoy that. Or they brew jackets from certain movies. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but what, yeah, for like Mrs. Doubtfire, like that's sick. Yeah, they posted one of those recently. It was, you know, it was like Norbit stunt crew. <laughs> yeah. Like, what, that movie had a stunt crew? You yeah. know, I want to see that. Anyway, yeah, I, I love I love stuff like that. Yeah, eBay, yeah. eBay jackets and hats. Shouts out. Uh, well, this was a very big week for us, at, but beyond the reasons I mentioned at the top of the show. Oh yeah. It was a very big week because we, I mean, every other day had something popping off here at Mega 64 HQ here in San Diego. We actually released our first game ever. Ever. Now, here's what was here's what worked out great about the release of this is, you know, I uh, th there's something about April Fool's Day. I mean, April Fool's Day can annoy the hell out of anybody. Yes. True. And we've got a record saying that we don't generally yes. like Not it that fans. much. Internet's insufferable. That day. And we started to we so we this is long running Mega 64 lore. Mm -hmm. We did a video, our Doug Huggum sketch in 2011. We did a, at the end of the video. We made a, a joke that, we're, oh yeah, we're, we're gonna make this game. It's all about politeness and good manners and uh, all of that stuff. And it's coming out in March, 2024. And again, we said that in 2011 because it was funny to mm -hmm. say like, oh, you think it's gonna be this March? Uh, it's in you 13 years. You random. So. <laughs> yeah, definitely random. Random month. Yeah. Like Derek what? just said a, a year, a month. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. What sounds so far out in the future that's comical distance. that the world will definitely be destroyed by then. Yeah, yeah. we'll all be dead. <laughs> yeah. No but, one uh, Nope. We made it, and it was. We started to hear. Huh. I wonder if they're actually going to release Doug Huggum, and, and we started to sweat. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, we got to get started. We made a promise. <laughs> people know about that. People remember so, that video. But here's the thing. So we started to hype up. Hey, uh, March 2024, like we promised, it's coming out. March 31st, you know, like give us the till the last second and it will come out. Our plan all along was to then we're going to announce, hey, it's delayed till April 1st. And then everyone will go, oh, they're going to pull a fast one. They're going to announce it's delayed again until like 2090 or something, you know, whatever. What's funny is I was starting to get tweets from people that were actually angry. I mean, I get those every day anyway, but <laughs> I, I was getting some that were like, I'm I think it's so pathetic 
You guys used to make fun of April Fools, and now you're giving into it just to stay relevant. You know, stuff just mean people tweets. But what was cracking me up behind all that is like we the whole thing we hated about April Fools is that these brands come out, hey. We're gonna put out the shoes from Back to the Future, and then the day comes. Ha, no, no, we're not. Yeah, uh, like, I, re I really want oh, those. I, I like those yeah, shoes. That's, that's oh, we're gonna we're gonna um, release. Uh, we're gonna have free Crystal Pepsi for everyone on Earth. Just kidding. Oh, that would have been great. That would have been awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm making those up, but you know what I mean. Like yeah. stuff that you would actually look forward to, and they just don't do it. Yeah. Well, we've done two. We've actually done two April Fool's jokes now. Mm -hmm. Last year's, we hyped up. The thing you've been asking for is coming April 1st. And it ended up being the thing, a lot of thing, uh, you know, something that a lot of people had been asking for, yeah. which was the unboxing ring Blu-ray. Yeah. So it was an April Fool's joke, like, yeah. what, you're really making that? But at the same time, people did want it. Yeah. And we actually made it. Yep. Yep. So we went by the same logic this year, and we actually made Doug hug him. The, we didn't dick everyone around. We actually put a game <laughs> on our website. But, now, okay, go ahead. Well, the part that was a joke was that we said this would be our Elden Ring. <laughs> well, I think that, that part was. Yeah, I think some people have compared well, it to. It's our first game, so it's like every game. It's, it's, yeah. You know, it's, that's also like a Mario Kart. Because uh, yeah, you've yeah. only done one game. Yeah. I think, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I saw all the anger and I was like, I love that they're so mad because they oh, think yeah. that we're fucking with them. Yeah. But they're going to get an actual game. But they're going to get a game. Now, whether they think it's the best game ever made, that's a, that's their call. Yeah, I think yeah, it remains yeah. to be seen. I, I think it I is. had a lot of fun. <laughs> and there's it, it currently was, it was like fun to play. There's currently like huge gamers streaming this online as we speak. Yeah. Uh, other people are right, playing it literally right now. Right now. Is it Scor Scorby? Scopens, right? Scopens. Sockpens. Sockpens. Scorpy. <laughs> Scorpion. <laughs> Get over Brad here. Brad Neely's Hargnolin <laughs> Scorpio Peepio. <laughs> but don't they go, aren't they, don't they oh go by God. Scorpio or am I thinking of somebody else? Yeah, they yeah, do. Okay, okay. So I was, I, yeah. so I was right. Scrunt, that's what it was. I get my yeah. Senior Pelo and my Scorpio, you know, confused. <laughs> senior Pelo, I'm sure they're streaming it too. I'm sure, no, but all these, dude, uh, yeah. streaming Vinny was yeah. uh, Vinny uh, playing it the other day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all these, all these uh, uh, luminaries in the industry, uh, dentists, even. I'm just even. even. Dennis. Uh, <laughs> no, but everybody has been streaming it, playing it. It absolutely warms my heart. Yeah. Um, and blows me away that people are doing that. It. Re I really was more excited for this April Fool's Day than ever. I mean, I was just like mm. so excited that it's like oh, no one thinks they're actually getting a game, but you are. I mean, yeah. sort of. But you are. You. No, it's, uh, a, hey, it's a game. It's a game. You can play. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. That is a real thing. So uh, anyway, I want to give a huge shout out to Brandon and the team at Get Bonus. Yes. Could yeah. give a bigger shout out Be to these people. And you may, if, if you don't know the name, well, we got here on, oh, a, yeah. on a past stream, we were looking for weird games to play, and we found Citizen Kane 64. Uh, they also made, didn't they make Kingdom Hanks? That yeah. was them so too. We, oh my God. We're big two. fans. That's too cool. Classic. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Their games were so funny. Then we met them, what, on tour? Mm -hmm. Is that what it was? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Met them on tour and they couldn't have been cooler. And uh, and they were talking with me about like, yeah, you know, want to get more, you know, um, they're adding more stuff to Citizen Kane 64, like a new update for that. They're doing all kinds of new stuff. Let's stay in touch. Ever want to do something? And then, yeah, the Doug Huggum thing started to come around. And it was like, wait, that. This month is when we said it would be Perfect. out. Uh oh. <laughs> but what a what a like universe giving us exactly what yeah. we were looking for, man. So with we met, I mean, we seriously I mean we we kept saying this is on a you know a thirteen year production cycle. <laughs> when the truth is they had a few weeks maybe. I mean I would get that, that a few is I would say they had yeah. maybe yeah. two and a half weeks like <laughs> uh, when it was all said and done. Possible it to was, do anything. It was Brandon. I'm sorry. That you were and uh, their you. team is get bonus. Get yeah. Bonus. So yeah. I think uh, what I heard is when you were kind of running this by the team, I think Brandon had mentioned. Well, I made Citizen Kane 64 in a, a game jam. Which is like a 48 hour. I don't know if Citizen Kane was part of that, Maybe, but they had done other stuff. They, 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 because yeah. you were kind of prefacing like, yeah. hey, this, uh, this might be like absolutely quick. ridiculous. Yeah. And I, I think their reply was like, well, we've done these game jams. We farted something out in yeah. 48 hours, so we'll see. Yeah. And. Uh, 
I think they spent a lot more time on it than that. Yeah. Because there is a lot of game there. Surprisingly, like I went through it's like incredible. four or five times. Yeah. There's a ton of Mega Six Four references in yeah, there. And yeah. That's the yeah. thing is, Grink is hidden in there. I'm wondering Grink is in there. Like, <laughs> let me be completely honest. We didn't write no anything. <laughs> really? <laughs> no. Ah. We. Uh, uh, what I supplied was the. Um, you know, there's certain like description descriptions of it. I don't know if any of my text is actually in the game. I don't think so. And I gave uh, Brandon the um, the I actually gave him the old recordings from when um, John St. John did uh, yeah the original recordings we did in 2011. Which can I say that is I think what is legitimizing this game having <laughs> having John St. John is having it John St. Is. John is. Yeah. parody his most famous character yes. in yeah. this and it being real. It's yeah. really him. Really lines from yeah. him. Yeah. And uh, double checked with them too before, hey, before we did it. Because that was films with no intention to make yeah. a game in 2011. Yeah. Yeah. And so I, I sent I sent John St. John an email just to get through the school view and. I could, it was just a quick, we just had a quick exchange mm -hmm. over the old iPhone and I, but I could feel the, the energy of, uh, wait, really doing this? Like, <laughs> like, like the email was like, yeah, that's cool of me. Oh my gosh. What? You know, but, uh, that, that, that was really cool. And he's always been a good one. Yeah. It's very good. Anyway, uh, but yeah, but although he didn't do any new recordings, those are the original recordings we made in 2011. And he used that, but other than that, Brandon pretty much put all this together himself, wrote it all, or or, or his team, you know, yeah. uh, his team too. Named uh, all the characters. He had some friend, uh, friends that get bonus. Yeah, they, they, they named everyone like I think it was like Rebecca PayPal or something they, like that. I don't they, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They usually they they like perfectly adapted and followed like the Mega Sixty Four naming scheme on their own. It was great. So um yeah so anyway all of that we were just you know after like a week and a half or two weeks like yeah. How's that going for you? And then he sent me screenshots. I was like, you're, you're kidding. This is fun. It's so, it's so, so much better than I thought it could ever be. Yeah. Yeah. And then we saw like those quick little things, like dialogue. Like, oh, we can do voices. Yeah. And so we just, without even asking, recorded voices. Yeah. Like, I, just in case you want to put this in there. Like, I don't know if you have time. Yeah, we but, just sent that over. But here yeah. you go. And then, yeah, they left them all in. And oh, my God. Yeah. So <laughs> it, it was all just, uh, and I didn't even know on my end. I'm like, I don't even know, can can this be embedded in our website? I don't know how to do that. Like, so I, I just learned myself how to put that into our website. Really? I, this really? Is, I believe it or not, I didn't ask for help from anybody. I don't, I don't know shit that. about that, but I'm just like, no, I'm going to figure this out. Stay with me. I found a way to do that, but then uh, uh, Brandon also has an EX a, 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 a link that you yeah, can yeah, download yeah. it to your PC. That's how everyone's getting it on their Steam Deck. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Their Steam Deck. Really so, cool. So, and that all came together extremely last night. Was seriously like the night before Easter. Just like, okay, I'm gonna try to embed it on the site. Oh, it worked. Okay. Um, yeah, well, I got the executable. Okay. Well, I think we're ready to go. Okay. It couldn't have been more last minute. And all of it. All of it. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? How like we've been in this industry for so long. We've heard about the nightmares of launching a game. Yeah. Didn't really Easy. have that effect. Yeah, what are these developers if complaining you about? Work with Get Bonus. It's no problem. Yeah, they're yeah. Working with work with them. them. Don't work with the. You know. That's what the problem is. Uh, oh, the new Last of Us. We were under crunch for two years. Yeah. Uh, whatever. Brandon from Get Bonus. Yeah. Is Get out of here, naughty dog. There. We need a day one patch. No, we don't. Ready to go. We don't at all. Neil Druckmann's wasting your time. You got to get bonus. Also, crunch culture that everyone's complaining about. Yeah, I was up late the Saturday before Easter. Then I slept in and ate double day. Perfect. Now, I don't know what Get Bonus is the deal. Maybe they were crunching. I don't know. I, was, I, I, I assume. Like, I know. I know. Yeah. I'm going to email them. They're like, guys, I fucking didn't sleep. We didn't, we didn't sleep for two yeah. weeks. Um, uh, but anyway, they couldn't have been more awesome. Yeah. So I do just want to say, just real quick, mm -hmm. uh, I really do want you to check out more of the Get Bonus stuff. Uh, Please. Stuff like like Citizen Kane 64 and the other games they made. Uh, Getbonus.itch.io. Please go there. Yeah. Check out the rest of their stuff. Support them. You know, go nuts. If you're a big game publisher out there, use them for your next big game. Yes. Yeah, Higher honestly, down. no shit. Like, do. They're Not joking. so 100%. great. And our game's less glitchy. He spent that <laughs> amount of time on it, like we just said. Yeah. And it's less glitchy than Cyberpunk was when it launched. True. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So check it out. Also, I really want to appreciate it. No one knows this, but they, they we were given this. 
Yeah. But it's really just a uh, COVID test. <laughs> but it, it's a perfect shape. It's rattling around in there. The COVID test. Oh, geez. Yeah, they're actual. They're it, it's tests. so funny how like that box is like identically the same size. You would Isn't never know. Amazing? Yeah, Nintendo 64, 64 box. It so is, cool. but it's just a COVID test. Anyways, it's fine. Uh, yeah, but please, uh, please check out. Already, I mean, we already played Sins Against 64. Yeah. Yep. Classic. And, and uh, Tom Hanks. What was the other one? Was it called Tom Hanks? Kingdom Hanks. Kingdom, Kingdom, Kingdom Hanks. Hanks. Was where I fell in love with uh, their work. But yeah, all on itch.io. Check it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, can't, can't thank them enough. And uh, yeah, um, it was so much fun. Like I said, seeing everybody link to our game and, and still and they're still it. playing it yeah, yeah right play now that. literally as we speak and everyone that i've seen play it it's so funny because like they're all like laughing at it and with it the entire time yeah they're like what the fuck yeah. it's so ridiculous yeah. but uh i think the first person most people do is try to help the old lady cross the street mm -hmm. and i think that's my favorite watching different streamers interact in almost the same way with the old lady crossing the street yeah <laughs> I, I that was a fun conversation too yeah. when i was talking to brandon He's like, uh, yeah, uh, I worked really hard on this Doug Huggum model, but I'm pretty sure you're only going to see him when he gets hit with his car. <laughs> I was like, okay, well. Yeah, you're right. That's the only time you see him. Yeah. Um, there was, all, there the was also, uh, there was also um, one mechanic that he was testing, but it didn't work. There, there was originally, I think, a, a, a more involved dialogue thing or something that he was just like, hey, to get this ready on time, we're you just going to cut it. that. Okay. And then there was also a thing where there were um, really uh, soft, like, kind of gruesome-looking band posters on different dress oh, and you would go and turn them into a Christian band. Oh, that's cool. Oh, okay, there's a cross. Now. Okay, yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah. But that did, that ended up getting cut. But other than that, I think mean, yeah. people, people, like, speed run this, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, and try to get the fastest time. And yeah. I, I watched a couple of them just trying to get it. Done Save Jesus in the fastest yeah. time. Yep. Um, Rocco, careful when you talk about cut content. Oh, <laughs> Kojima, talk Every, about now chapter every, three. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna be hitting us up and asking for a hot fix or a day two patch. <laughs> yeah. <Day> two. <laughs> it's a shame Doug Huggum was never. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yes. Actually, I think there might be an update Are coming, coming tonight. Breaking news. That Brandon was telling me about where, um, I don't remember exactly what it was, but it, there might be like a mode there to play without the time limit. Oh, okay, so and would you re-download the executable? Like uh, it, it will, uh, the one embedded on our site would be updated, and then, yeah, I think you want to just re-download re yeah. 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 it's, it was. It's been updated a few times just to fix it. That's what I've heard, is yeah. that it is being cool. properly... Uh, supported by the developers. Nintendo. Unlike yeah. Nintendo, yeah. Our servers. Lots of fun. Uh, yeah. Hugger says that there is a Doug Huggum now um, thing on Twitch. Because when is we there played, really? That's what, that's what I just Whoa, saw. Like, okay. and, and, and Vinny Vine Sauce too did the same thing. He went to go select the category, and he's like, "Wait, Doug Huggum's not here." Yet. Oh, that's yeah. my Vine Sauce. Oh, so I don't know <laughs> if Doctor Bud Hugger is fucking with us or if that's. Yeah. I, well, usually, if enough people like type it in, I think or petition Twitch to add that, <laughs> they do. It's a game. Yeah. It's a real I mean, game. it's a real game that real streamers are playing, so you can't. And people yeah. are saying. I mean, the Twitch oh, chat is it's saying on it's, on oh, it's, it's on there. It's on there. We so did it. when we streamed what last? Friday, last Friday. Yeah, the day it was Monday. Yeah, Monday. Okay, that, it was not out at that point. Wow. That's um, awesome. You know what's so funny is like I sometimes I think about like what would I. If like past me could see future me, what would they think? Whatever. If past me from a month ago saw this podcast, like what the fuck are they talking about? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when did we make a game? <laughs> like, Seriously. What game? How? Yeah. yeah. Well, like Brandon I said, we had a very team. active week because then that came out on Monday. Then yeah. Wednesday, new video we dropped. Gamer game Dad. Man. So good. That came out. We we had been sitting on that for a little bit. Um and. Uh, we, we shot that. We kind of did a two birds, one stone. Yes. Where uh, we shot. It was the, what was it called? Making money? Yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. The video the, about the all, the subscriptions. all the subscription services mm -hmm. that are out and all that. And um, yeah, we, we kind of, it. this was Gamer there? Dad one came first. Um, so I want, I, want to, I want to preface real quick. So uh -huh. Derek has been, obviously hasn't been on the podcast. And... I think uh -oh. some people have equated that to like, oh, we're, you know, we're we're doing all these new videos because Derek's not on the show, and a little bit of that is true because 
obviously he's coming up with, you know, he came in with like a, a kind of a script for Gamer Dad and stuff like that. But I think some people have turned that into like, he wants, only he wants to do videos and he's like making us do them or something like that, <laughs> which isn't true. We love doing, we all no, no. want it. We all wanted to do more videos. Uh, so I, I really just want to, you know, get that out there. It's like, I, I, we've been able to make this work. We're trying to like balance our schedule now where we actually have a steady stream of them coming out and, um, and I'm stoked about it. Um, not me, but, oh. Oh, <laughs> but, but, but I will say in the case of this video, this was actually one where he did come in. Like I have the full thing ready to go. If you want to do this idea, I don't know why I came up with this, but I was walking around and thought about uh, a dude who named his kid Ezio or something, something like that. Here, I'm gonna write the script. Okay, great. So this actually was his baby. Um, he, he put me in it as the gamer dad, but he really came up with the whole, yeah. like, yeah, the whole concept and, and he directed it and did all that stuff. Um, and I, re you know, I, I improvised a little bit just based off of kind of the thing hey. he wrote, but Sonic, other, other than that, Sonic the Child still Oh, yeah. Out. That, that, yeah. yeah. Standout line from the video. Yeah. What's your story? I was a sheriff, believe it or not, for a small town far to the west of here. Short version is that sometimes justice is a little slow. I helped speed it up one too many times. I'm not sorry for anything I did, but I will do the time. Fair enough trade if you ask me. Right now, Eddie and his boys run the place. They've got the guns and the dynamite, so they call the shots. I'm not quite sure the kind of greeting NCR troopers will give an escaped con like myself. I understand that Cook was behind it all. I kept my... I stuck around, figuring the NCR would show up and put things back the way they were. He went north with some of the other guys. Didn't say where. Didn't say why. All I know is he's got some kind of... Watch... Yeah, that 100%. was hilarious. That was really good. <laughs> your your performance though, I will say Rocco is like above and beyond. Like you really kill it as that character <laughs> oh, with you. your God. timing and the delivery and everything. Well, I saw a was, lot of that in the It was really too. funny because again, it was he, so yeah, he so he brought this in and was like Yeah, we could do this video and it's just in like some dude's gamer li living room or whatever. But then we we had that subscription idea. We were just in the hallway leaving work yeah. and had the idea for, oh, this video with all the subscriptions and stuff. And then it be, and then he, he jotted all that down, put it into a script. And then it was like, well, okay, we can shoot both of these on the same. Garrett's going to make a, a living room set and we could dress them up different for each one. Yeah. But it was kind of decided like, hey, the subscription video feels like that's hitting that that's hitting hard right now. Like everyone is going, what's with all these subscriptions? What's with all these layoffs at all these companies? We should get that out first. So we prioritize that, and then had a bunch of other videos come out. And now but we did. Oh, we shot them kind of in the same day. They were shot the same day. Yeah, on the same set. And so yeah. I remember. I don't know why we did this, but we shot half of the subscriptions video, the 
what's called was what making money. Yeah. And then we changed all the lighting, changed the sets, and we shot the entire gamer dad video. And then like we thought like, oh, we should film more of the subscription video. I don't know why we didn't film the whole thing first. We should. <laughs> so we had to like redo all of our work and like put it back to how it was. <laughs> why did we do that? Yeah. Shooting out of order. We yeah. shot out of order. So that was really fun. And um, yeah, I mean, uh, we kind of, I don't want to say too much, but there are um, some people we know that have, that talk the way that I was talking in that video. Sure. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and and Derek wrote it on his experiences, but I also was kind of was bringing. Um, there's someone we knew somewhere, at, somewhere that worked, worked at somewhere we went that had, that really talked the same way and named their kid. Like that. <laughs> you know, and so we, yeah. we kind of met in the middle of that. It was like Derek, Derek was literally like at this place we talked about. This, this is so oh, great. true to form. Cool. So we we um so we all brought personal um experiences to the table. So anyway, so I'm glad two people seem to dig it. So yeah, that was uh, a lot of fun. Yeah. Really enjoyed Sherilyn's portrayal of oh, the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. trad wife yeah. is uh the, the comments are calling her. Yeah. Um and she's shown up in a few other things. Yeah. Uh, you might start to recognize more Sherilyn. Another great actor to have on hand. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, all I was going to say other than that, I, I, oh, yeah, so we we shot, it was, it, it really was an out of nowhere idea. It was like, oh, yeah, let's, okay, let's do it. I, I mean, the, the idea is all here. Let's just do it. And then when we filmed it, I, I couldn't get a sense of, like, is this good or not? Because, it, you know, it's just, it's me doing all that. So I'm like, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to try to make you guys laugh, but, like, did this come together into a video? I, I don't. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm, I feel like I've just been wasting everyone's time. You know, just you know, I don't know, yelling "shut the fuck up" into my air <laughs> earbuds. Like, Shut up. I don't. No. I, you know, but it was fun to record it. So I'm like, well, hopefully that'll carry across another thing. And then, uh, yeah. And then I watched the edited version. I was like, oh, I love this. This, this is great. great. I was really yeah. stoked with it. So, yeah, it all it all came together. But you never know when it's um, when it's you kind of saying most of the dialogue. It's hard to. Watch. Get a like, picture I, of what's actually. Yeah, I, I'm not like, like if I watch Sean product. doing something, I could be like, oh, I could see this already. Like, how yeah. we're gonna put that there. Oh, this is gonna be great. But I can't when it's just me. Like, I, oh, I dropped the cake. Was that funny or am oh. I or am I an asshole? No, I would, no, no, no that was hilarious. You know what right. I mean? Yeah, when that but happened, it I was slides like, yeah, that, sitting that was on the cake. You don't even drop it; it slides behind and I just your thought, butt. Like, that's gonna seat. suck to clean out, but this is worth Still it. Still funny. Such a funny <laughs> shot. Because yeah. as a viewer, you're like, that's the worst. That's the worst thing <laughs> that the cake could do. Oh, it slid down his fucking chair. Oh. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, so I was really happy. We showed, showed that first that axe. Cool. Anyway, yeah, go check it out. If you haven't already, uh, Gamer Dad, it's on YouTube. Our new video on YouTube. I love the lighting in it, too. Yeah. yeah. Did you did you do that with Derek, Johnny? Did you both light that, or was that just... Uh, I helped him light the subscriptions video, but Gamer Dad, I think, was all Derek. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, cool. Okay. I didn't know that. That's awesome. Well, both of those videos look great. The, um, the making money video looks like a Sears commercial, and this one... Looks like vomit, which is perfect for the character, yeah. and it's great. So anyway, uh, so yeah, check that out if you haven't hadn't already. Yeah, and uh, that so that we had that on Wednesday, and then Friday we dropped our uh, Mega sixty four farewell tour Blu ray, which is out now. You can order it now. Um, we all worked out really hard on it. Um, I kind of talked about this. Uh, as well on the we did a launch stream. Which, oh, that's if, right. If you yeah. missed it, that was fun. That's on our archive channel. By the way, in case you don't know, in case you're new to Mega Sixty Four, we have a second channel. Mm. Uh, look up Mega Sixty Four Archives. Um, that is our second channel on YouTube. Yeah, we look we upload all kinds of stuff there, and uh, we put up yeah the stream that we did to launch uh, the Blu-ray coming out, and uh, that was really cool. And I talked about it on there, but. The Blu-ray is already done and it's it's been in the pipeline, so you won't have to wait. You won't have to wait very long. Just give us give us some time to ship them out and all that and fulfill it. Um, but uh, you know, hopefully in the coming weeks everything will will go out. Um, it's all looking good. But um, anyway, yeah, uh, me and I, I'm usually I'm usually the one guy authoring the the Blu-ray. I mean, Johnny worked on the uh, he cut like the show together 
Um, the, the live Donna, show. He well, shot every live show when we thing. were on tour. You know, Johnny, together. every show had to go to every sound guy, which I'll tell you, that's not is fun. not a fun task. <laughs> it's <laughs> yeah. not fun. Yeah. And had to be like, hey, uh, can I, you know, tap into your board, get some audio and whatever. And he, Set up cameras. It, it, it was just, and some guys are like, mm, I mean, the venue's going to charge you a couple hundred for that. And some guys are like, eh, all right, yeah. let me get to you in a half hour. It, it's never easy to just like have this work out. Yeah. So, so kudos to Johnny for doing this and then every he night of the tour. Filmed every night, and then he stitched it all together to make one complete package. And and the <laughs> amount of editing yeah. that goes into like finding the best parts of yeah. how many shows were there? Fourteen on that tour? More than that. It was yeah. a lot. He it's had to a go lot through. of yeah, footage was, to now compile. I think it was uh, yeah, at least eight, at least eighteen to twenty. Or so something like that. just like the last laugh, our hats are off to Johnny. Yeah. On how fucking awesome this new one came out too. yeah so he, he he put that together and then what I, what I was gonna say was normally when it just comes to like authoring the, the blu-ray like mm -hmm. it's normally just me but Der Derek actually did sit in on this one he he, he reached out just like hey let I, I normally it's just you doing this I want to see how you do it <coughs> I want you know and he was already coming up with like ideas for like future he's like you know I got ideas for for some physical media stuff in the future that we could make some really bizarre like blu-ray releases and stuff like that and yeah. i, I want to see how you do this here oh, okay, just from cool. seeing how the mm -hmm. authoring process goes yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. it's oh, I just, what you can embed it's in menus yeah, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. normally just me doing that because i learned how to do it you know 20 years ago yeah, and it's version two it's right? tedious as hell so i'm like you can but you might lose interest real quick like it's boring uh but no we literally sat there together and in one go did the whole thing we did not leave my office until that Blu-ray was done. And nice. I was surprised. He was like super engaged. Oh, that's cool. Uh, I think this was a good one to do it because sometimes like when we put our master collection Blu-ray uh, thing together, oh. that is like, okay, a, a billion episodes with a billion more uh, audio commentary tracks. That I think is maximum, that's that's like maximum boring, but and it, this it, was pretty good. This it all has good. to go in the right order yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. It has to be cataloged. You're dealing with stuff across multiple decades, but the tour Blu-ray is fun. It's like, oh, mm. here's, Oh yeah, here's the footage. Of, here's us reviewing pizza at the thing. Okay, I'll create, you know. So it was actually maybe kind of fun to engage with. But anyway, um, yeah. So we did all that, and it, so uh, everyone's kind of had a hand in this. Uh, there's a I, I I I ran off the list of things that are on our tour Blu-ray, but there's a whole second show on the Blu-ray um, from Florida when we did a test show that did not work. Like there's a lot of gags that were like, ooh, cut that. Or, uh, or even like some that were like, we could we could do something better. Let's do that. And vi even videos that we made that played on stage, those videos are in there, all that stuff. But Sean put that together. Um, so we really kind of all had a hand. Which I was thinking about this. Uh, I love that whatever we do, mm -hmm. anything here, it is all of us working together. Yeah, yeah. And mm -hmm. we all yeah. would just do random things to make sure that this task is completed. Like, yeah. But it's always... Everyone always has a hand in something at some point along the process. Like, yeah. you know, it's like, you know, Meg does the cover and puts that all together yeah, for yeah, us yeah, in yeah. menus. And then, like, we, we, I just feel like we always have, like, Garrett's doing this and Kevin's doing this. Like, we're all working together yeah. again. Because yeah. it's only such a small crew that we Yeah, there's are six all, of us. Well, with seven with Meg. Yeah. But, like, you, it's yeah. all of us, like, figuring out a way to get this all done together because like otherwise it wouldn't work so. yeah yeah i really the only thing with the farewell <laughs> tour is kevin didn't really do shit no. oh no. come on so where we're kind of where he's were gonna you? when he yeah. ships them all out no i'm not shipping them out <laughs> yeah he's not doing that no 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 order them, but like oh, yeah no. he put they're, his foot down on yeah that's it yeah i don't know he carried your bags out of every hotel in every city <laughs> that's true he loaded them he into the van for you made sure we didn't forget any costumes Oh, I did. Kevin, I do. I do what's called the once over. Last look. I love. Yeah. yeah Kevin over. is always like the last that person was. in the van. All right, I'm gonna do the, the once over, and then he'll go into like the people in the venue are like backpacks on, ready to leave. And Kevin's like, one second, and he'll get his flashlight, flashlight out and he'll look at I'll, every corner of where well, we were. You need to do that because like, yeah. hey, here's a phone charger was in the. Green I found room. some stuff. Here's yeah. an sure. audio DAC that was damn. left on a table yeah. or something. I my mission was to lose one thing and have Kevin not find it, and I did it. Here's the blood. I did lose our RTX hat. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What happened with that? I think Halfway it was behind a curtain in Portland. Honestly, I, yeah. I can think of exactly where it would have been, and there's no way Kevin would have ever thought to look behind here. What character wore the RTX? The hacker. It was a hacker. Oh, so yeah. it's only yeah. for the last bit of yeah, the show. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. I just ended up taking this hat and just turned it backwards. 
cool. You look like a hacker. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I feel like a hacker. <laughs> a little script kitty Sean here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, um, anyway, yeah. So, uh, really, everybody contributed a lot to that show. So, and, and you um, streamed and the, Friday. And the, right. yeah, 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 yeah. Thursday night. Thursday night. Thursday and it night. went on sale. It's it's now up. You can get it yeah. currently at shop.mega64.com. Shop.mega64.com. We did a whole uh, merch drop for the tour. We have the, the tour shirt is on sale. The We have the Blu-ray, but also, like, a, a bundle with the, the Blu-ray where you could get, like, the VIP badge, the the uh, oh, NFT uh, physical certificate, which it, it's not. The you, again. You, once you see the Wouldn't show, you'll understand you? what that is. Mm -hmm. um, it's tied into the story. It's so if you want like hot. a physical, you know, part of Prop? the show, yeah. you'll have that. Um, those, all of that is on sale. But we did something <laughs> none of us expected. Uh, when we put this all out, we thought it, we'd be clever. We found a, just a small little stack of last laugh yeah, tour. Yeah, just like a handful. Our, our last laugh tour was the first tour we ever did. Mm -hmm. Mega City War last laugh. Different from the farewell tour. Totally different shows. And way different show. And that was our first leg of the first. Like we, that was early 2020 before yeah. COVID. Yeah. Pre-COVID era. I mean, very first weird. leg. Just yeah. as yeah. everything was starting to close. Yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, we had a we did a Blu-ray of that. It's been out of print for years at this point. We had a stack of them. Like, oh, we'll put that out, and it sold out in you know point one oh, second awesome. or something like that. But then we met up the next day and had and at the meeting we were like, should we reprint that? Should we? And we looked into it, and it was like, okay, if we do one small run, it won't take that long. It will, we'll probably have them. Probably, I mean, it's already done, yeah. so we, it probably will be here around the same time as the other tour Blu-ray, pretty close to that. Uh, okay, fine. So we did. That is in our store. Oh, it's back up. We, on sale. we, we, we yeah, we made the sale, calls yeah. and all that that day. It's like okay, it won't take you that long. All right, great. So if you want to get the last laugh tour, but I don't, I don't think we're gonna do another printing of that. Probably, I think um, this is it. One no more chance. run uh, is probably good on that. Uh, the last laugh tour Blu-ray is up now. Shop.mega64.com. You can get both tour Blu-rays. They're mm -hmm. up right now, and. Um, yeah, if you missed out, I I think what a great double feature. Oh, yeah. The first tour we, we, and our we, last tour. Yeah. I'm not doing that shit again. Yeah. Didn't we? <laughs> yeah. What are you going to, we're going to write a third show? Hard that yeah, fair, last laugh, farewell tour. Yeah. yeah. If you do a third tour, what's it going to be called? We're, oh, oops, we're back. <laughs> oops, one more. Oops, all jokes. Oops, all um, jokes. One more show and then we're dead. I think that's actually a good that's, tour. Oh, yeah. yeah. Catchy, <laughs> that's a catchy title. Yeah. Uh, but anyway. So yeah, get all that stuff, shop.mega64.com. And uh, we also have a, uh, we did a merch drop for Doug Huggum too. So if you really liked that game, um, we did, we have a shirt by uh, the Death Claws uh, have been uh, keeping their distance. artist that does a ton of wrestling stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. that's and, right. Um, and a uh, really great artist and uh, and they did a sticker set too. Mm -hmm. I've seen them all, working with West a lot. Lately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've done a lot of great stuff. Um, all this stuff is on shop.mega64.com right now so yeah, check go get out. that stuff if you can yeah that was talking about we were talking about our work but it our segued, it segued, segued into, into the, the plug into the plug. So yeah, I, yeah. I did the plug well, yeah it's fine that works out it was a big week for us and it kind of leads in can we also say that. that we got in the the vhs um and those will be going out shortly yeah oh, a bunch yeah, of them yeah. already been packed up so the packed yeah. up right be you're talking the mail. mlk the, the MLK. movie the movie yep uh it's on its way so we're expecting the master collection soon Yep. So that'll be on its way soon. Yep. So yeah. it's all in the works, people. We're yeah. killing it. Yeah. You know, I think that 2023 was such a clusterfuck of us trying to figure shit out and get things out to people that yeah. this year we're, our mission was like, we're going to do a shitload of videos and the merch is going to be fucking pristine. So <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we, I think I, I, I think I said this on the stream. I don't remember, but uh, last year, Felt like the uh, constipation year, and this, is, and this year <laughs> this is the diarrhea. This is the diarrhea year. Sweet release. Where it's like, oh my god, we were backed up that whole year. You know, we were touring at the same time. We were trying to fix like 80 broken things behind the scenes that were like, okay, the, the, this Blu-ray we've been trying to get out was all, was held by this, and we got to fix that. And we, there were so many things and. Uh, Fucking Suez Canal. Yeah, I feel like we're like reaping the benefits of everything. Yeah, the Suez Canal. Yeah, that fucking fucked boat. Us. All of our uh, yeah, Blu rays were on there. Our, our, you know, all our stuff was on there. It was all fucked up last time. But this it is, was. This is, is 
smooth sailing and yep. all the physical media that's getting pumped yeah. out of the studio. I love yeah. it. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys because the, the Gamer Dad video, going back to that, mm -hmm. it kind of brought up, I think, a lot of the standouts, like you said, Sonic the Child, Ezio, yeah. all up. these names. Mm -hmm. there are death is there a, the damn place is there a like, tolerable turn back. video game character if you, you want to get name to... your kid after? Oh. And then looping north. It's a heck of a lot safer. If you insist on going... Generator's still not working. Big surprise. Let me ask. Ah, yeah, can you believe some people still eat that stuff? Anyway, I've got this recipe for a death claw omelet that I've been itching to try out. Trouble is, I need a death claw egg. Kind of obvious, I suppose. The quarry just north of here is full of death claws, so there's bound to be an egg or two in there somewhere. Of course, a Deathclaw egg from anywhere will do. According to my Aunt Rose, those things have a ridiculously long shelf life. My great Aunt Rose ran a bed and breakfast back in California, in a town called Modoc. She's the one who created the recipe in the first place. I don't know how she managed to get a hold of a female Deathclaw, but she kept it in a shed. Aunt Rose had a steady supply of eggs for her omelets. At least, she did until some stranger came along and killed the Deathclaw. Shot it right in the eye. I don't have much in the way of money, but I'd be willing to share the secret of the recipe. All right. Do you need anything to eat or drink? Born and raised. Things back in California are better than they've ever been, according to my grandpa. The raiders are mostly gone now, and it's easy enough to get a job at one of the mills or farms. But now there's taxes and laws and other things. The NCR keeps things safe and orderly, but it's all very boring. So, I came out east, towards the frontier. Oh, I'm not. I'm making my way to New Vegas. They say anything goes there. And best of all, the NCR... I'll get there eventually. <clears throat> I've heard that you can't even get into the Strip unless you're rich. Well, there's the Death Claws, of course. And there was that one group of powder gangers who stole all the dynamite. I think we're too small and poor for anyone to bother with, really. I keep a weapon near my bunk, though. Same as everybody here. All right. Do you need anything to eat or drink? Generator's still not working. Big surprise.
Because that like I said, like, I, I, uh, like I've got I've got now, you know, friends and family that have started naming their children like after say comic book characters sure. or like movie characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like there was this is an example, but there was a string of uh what was the Callista? The Khaleesi. Uh, Khaleesi. All these girls. Oh my Khaleesi. god, that was a thing. That, that was, was a big thing. thing. You, know, you know what's funny though? Is Pop like I has... see that in the wild sometimes because my kids are the same age of so they're but all yeah. like you're seeing yeah. Khaleesi. Yeah. Yeah. They, there was, uh, yeah, when they had a class of Khaleesi. Yeah. Yeah, oh class. my that's god. Oh, gymnastics. That's so good. That just makes it. <laughs> that, that character went off the deep end. <laughs> yeah. Like you don't want to name anyone after. No. The show wasn't even over, and you name your kid after. Well, like, you, dude, you could have committed is, heinous acts. She did. She did. Yes. Oh, that's great. That, 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 so that was a good. symptom of a terrible thing that was happening at that time. I remember. I remember in like 2012 or 2013, asking somebody, "All right, what's your favorite show of all time?" And they were like, "Oh, Game of Thrones." And I'm like. Aren't they just starting season two right now? Yeah. yeah, but it doesn't matter. I'm like, I think it matters, and I would wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wait. And there we are, everybody. Good night. Um, but yeah, what a name. A name know, from a game. Because I, I more movies. You know, Sonic the Child is so fucking good, yeah. and your line delivery is so fucking good. But like Ezio, I could see someone actually doing that. Like, yeah, we're Italian. I love. You know, Assassin's Creed. I could, I could see Ezio yeah, at being least Ezio, real. Ezio's a name. It really is. That's it actually right. is. A, a, well, that's a the thing. Is like, you know, Zelda Zelda's is a, a name thing that happened. Yeah. Well, that is a name that existed in the world before what? this game. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, like yeah. a 1920s name. Yeah, Zelda is an old. It's like name. Mildred. It's like an old lady name. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Zelda like Rubenstein from Poltergeist and stuff. That's right. Her name was Zelda. Yep. Yeah. Ah, so I, towards the light. I do think that yeah, Zelda Fitzgerald. I I I think that. I don't, you know, because I, you know, Strike. I've got my, my, I have kids with Cloud different names. Chatfield. My, my, my kids' names are, you know, not the normal, yeah, names. You could get away with naming your kid Tifa, though. Yeah, you right. Oh, yeah. But that might be a little weird. Like, eh, you named your daughter Tifa. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's all weird. To me, yeah. it, 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 it all weird. depends. It's all it all weird. depends because, like, I knew someone who had. So much Star Wars shit everywhere, mm. and then they named their kid like Leia. no, like it, it, it was like J, J. It was like I don't. I don't oh, it was like a character creator name. It was like Javen Star. No, it was like Anakin something. Yeah, you know, and it was like oh man, and like that was like too much. The kid's gonna. Hate but you it. know, you name a kid Luke. Oh, and that's it happened to be from that. Well, that's, okay, that's cool. You know, I'd say. I mean, my brother, I'm pretty sure, yeah. was named from that but but that's a th you can name it but just don't say it like don't go oh i named luke because After of star wars True. I, I, think, it, I think keep it, it quiet yeah keep it quiet i think You're it's right. a, even if even if you don't i think you could get away with it if it's not um like oh here's my i've got a, a planned naming scheme yeah. for all my kids dude because i'm a big uh Super Sentai fan, so I'm gonna name my kids uh, Shider, Go Kaiger, yeah, <laughs> yeah, Shider. This, that, that. You could. It's just the, everything in balance. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, everything sure. in balance. That's I all will I say. Feel. And I don't think I've said this on the podcast before, but my parents. I don't know. I'm assuming they were joking, but I was six at the time. Mm -hmm. So when my mom was pregnant with my sister, they said if it's a boy, we're gonna name him the heart. And I was like, what? He's like, yeah, because you're Sean. That's close to Jean. So it'd be Sean Luke Picard. And I was like, this what? can't be real. Uh, Three kids are the and name. And I remember being a kid being like, mm, no. I don't <laughs> think so. I think they were fucking with me. I yeah. never got clarification on that. You should ask him. I did probably don't remember, <laughs> you honestly, think that shit. wasn't a boy. Right? Because I would find out the hard the way that is. if that really the was the case, <laughs> like Sean Picard, Luke Picard, Picard that's terrible. When I was I always thought if I had a son, I wanted to name him Cecil. Okay. Because that was the 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 guy Final the, Fantasy, the right? guy in Final Fantasy mm -hmm. Four starts and he starts like bad but like learns to be good and I always thought that was a powerful <laughs> story and I thought that's obscure enough that I know what it is but no one else does. Yeah. But now it sounds like another uh, weird like a lion. white people name. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. like, uh, Cecil. I'm gonna, him, I'm gonna name him Quest. Cecil name is a name. Cecil. It just hasn't been used in a long time. Yeah, yeah, which, yeah. Which those, I guess you still could do it. Those names come back. Like uh, uh, there's a lot of girls named June now, which mm -hmm. oh, was a, kind of yeah. a old lady there's name a for a while, but yeah. I think my, that's coming back. I'm, Esther's coming back. Yep. Yeah, I mean, my mom's name is Nancy, and that went away, but I'm starting to see that come around. Yeah. You know what? I you think, know what's gone.